Hi, welcome to another Rock OBS Masterclass. So something that I've been doing for a while and constantly being asked how I do it is I've managed to perfect a process which takes the best features of StreamYard and applies them to your OBS Studio streams for free. So without further ado, let's watch and see how I do this. Well, let's pop over to StreamYard here. Now we only want the free account for what we're looking to do. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up to create a broadcast. Now it's important doing this that you create a broadcast. Um, it has to come from StreamYard. Otherwise it won't make the connection with YouTube and your chat. And we'll schedule it for later. It doesn't matter when because you're not streaming from StreamYard. So just create that. Okay, that's all we're going to do in StreamYard. So now we're going to pop over to OBS. Okay, so here we are back in OBS and this is where all the magic happens. So the first thing I'm going to introduce you to is something called a custom browser doc. This is really important. This is key to working. So we click on that and we are going to create a new one and we're going to call it banners and we're going to type streamyard.com. I'm going to apply that and now we have a little window on the StreamYard website within OBS. Grab the doc and wherever you move it, as long as you've got your docs unlocked, you can drag this to anywhere. I like to put this one here and we'll create another one and we'll call this chat. We'll just copy that URL, save me mistyping it. There we go, we'll apply that one and we'll do the same on, there we go, that corner and close this down. You can drag these around, make them bigger or smaller. Obviously I've got a, a fairly small window showing here so that we can zoom in, but if you've got a large monitor, this works a treat. And the key thing here is this is for people who wanna do something a bit more adventurous in OBS than you can get away with in StreamYard. StreamYard uh, is limited at 1080p and that's only if you pay the highest price for the subscription service. So this can work really well for people like me that don't want to spend that kind of money. So we've already got a, a broadcast set up that we did just now, but you could set this up here or you could create future ones here. If we click on these little dots, we can enter. Now it's going to, once it's connected, it's going to ask you for cameras and stuff. We're going to join without mic or cam doesn't matter what name you put in here. StreamYard banners works, obviously. And we're going to enter without mic or, or camera. We're going to get rid of any of these little windows. Like so. And now we've got essentially the full site. But we only want to see the banners, which is this here. So once that's at the size that you can see those banners, they're all in there. Here are some um, obvious previous ones that I've created in an earlier show, but they'll, they'll suffice. And then on this side, we want to go into the same show, enter Broadcast Studio. Same process, log in without your camera. Call this one SY Chat for whatever reason. Get rid of this. And now we have the chat showing. Now, one of the first things that you're going to want to do is set your branding up. Uh, I tend to use a red for most of my shows, but you can choose any color that you want to. And then we're going to test out how a banner looks. So it's red against the pre-existing background. With the free account, you only get two choices for a background, black or this kind of off, very dark gray with some leaves in. We don't want that one, so we want to make sure that that is turned off. So make sure that you click leaves background, click that, get rid of it. Let's have a look at comments. 
and we'll overlay a comment see how that looks they give us one as an example so again we've got this red highlighting which is good it's differentiating it from the black uh, which is what we need now it isn't actually a true black and what we do need to do and I'll just grab my uh, trusty color picker tool here we go we want to take the value of that color it needs to be precise uh, and in this case it's all the ones so normally black is all the zeros this is all the ones bear that in mind get rid of the little tool and go back to OBS the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a window capture we'll call it uh, StreamYard capture there we go and um, what we actually want to do is to capture this screen here so go back to OBS is we're going to crop in get as close as you can to the comment Oops, there we go. All right, so that's positioned our comment, which as you can see is a screen capture. But then what we're going to do is we're gonna click on our source screen capture, we're gonna to go to filters, and we're going to get rid of that background color by applying a color key. And we're gonna choose custom and overwrite those digits with ours which were one two three four five six there we go close that down and now as you can see our comment is beautifully extracted from its background here is the fun part because we have the site the two sites sitting within our screen we can now use these to overlay within OBS. There you go, simple as that. Obviously you can reposition these, put them where you want, make them bigger, smaller, it depends entirely on your layout. Maybe you wanna butt them up against the edge. But the key thing is you, you need to have that open window. That has to be open somewhere because that's where you're capturing the image from couple of extra things that I like to do which are quite important one is is that when you created that schedule in YouTube studio StreamYard set the show you might want to change the settings because it will do it as a default 720p and one of the key things as we've already established is that uh, the beauty of doing this is you're not limited anymore to 720 you can go 1080 or 4 4 K, whatever suits your purposes so in fact we should make that private we don't want people to get excited I think there's a show coming up so what we're going to do here is go into the live control room bearing in mind this was set up by StreamYard on your free account usual things here change all the text change everything because you will use this for your OBS show uh, and here you want to choose whatever stream key is important to you. So if you want to go 4K60, choose 4K60. That's absolutely fine. And make sure that you copy the key so that when we're back in OBS, we can go to our settings, go to stream and paste the code. So now we've made a connection between there you go there's an example of why we need to see the screen at all times what I typically do is pull this away from the main browser so it's its own tab that way you're actually capturing that that screen or if you're not you can make sure that you do here it is everything will stay the same and now you can still play around in your browser and it won't affect this image so we've established the connection between StreamYard and YouTube uh, and now when you go live, live comments, live chat will appear down here so that you can replace this and click on it to hide it and so on. Your banners are already in place and in truth, even if you don't use 
the key or the connection that uh, StreamYard creates, you'll still be able to show banners. As long as you've got that physical connection between a web page and uh, OBS, you'll still be able to show any banners that you like. And to prove this, let's go and find a different show. And as you can see, it will just show banners. This, is, this internal collating is purely for convenience more than anything. All right. And uh, of course, you can always go back in and change the look and feel as well. So if you want to change that color, if red's not your thing, then choose a color of your choice, a uh, nice blue. As long as it isn't 111111, you'll be good to go. That's the key. And the minute that you get that 11111, it, the background will disappear. And that's one of the only downsides that I find with this process is that obviously when you're showing chat avatars you're going to get the odd pixel that is all the ones that's one of the advantages of having a paid StreamYard account because you can use a colored background of your choice and make sure that it's something like a very bright green that isn't going to be in someone's avatar so the day of your stream comes you start to stream it'll make a connection with youtube everything will work fine you can even post comments here Hi chat, and they will appear, and as you could imagine, you can overlay them as well. So you've got complete StreamYard-like control. There's a couple of things you may want to consider. One is, when you have finished with the show, you probably want to delete it from within StreamYard. Now they will stay there for a while, and eventually I think they fade away. But if you do delete, it's really important that you do not tick the box that says delete on YouTube. That will delete your recorded show. But that will delete that broadcast just to keep the thing clean. But this is how you can integrate StreamYard free account into your OBS streams with all the benefits of your uh, pre-created banners, and your live chat comments. I hope you enjoyed that. Please uh, give me some feedback and comments. I'm always, always interested to hear how you guys have got on, and if you've got any questions at all, you know where to send them. Thanks very much indeed. Rock out.